Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, Stardust Jar Gaming, and uh, we're going to be trying out something uh, a little bit new today. A little bit of a uh, break from our uh, traditional um, city exploration we've been doing recently. We're going to travel out to the Federal Ration Stockpile and head over to the Propane Station to take care of some of this Creation Club content. Today we're going to be dealing uh, with the Sentinel Power Armor, which are independent suits of uh, power armor developed by West Tech and Robco, I'm not sure, and the idea was let's make some suits of power armor that can just function independently without an operator. Um, you know, with, there was just a couple of prototypes that were out with this Brotherhood Patrol team that got slaughtered by them. Uh, apparently, I misread what happened in the battle scene. The scribe, one of the scribes, turned on his allies and uh, used the power armor against them. Okay, not that way. Down this way. Let's go. Let's get out of here. And we have a bevy of new mods. About eight new mods. Eight, ten new mods. Um, ooh, I hear some firefight going on down here. Dawson. That's the traitorous scribe. That we were just talking about. Ooh, yep, he sees us. Let's try to get a 40 mil through the building, I guess. Oh, man, I hear raiders that might be coming at us as well. Ooh, we need to find some cover ASAP. This guy's gonna murder us. Okay, let's try for the headshots. This dude's in power armor, so it's not gonna be easy. There we go, got him. Starting to have fun. Maybe some raiders creeping up on us as well from up above. Ooh, it looks like a, a, another suit of power armor, possibly. <gasps> That's gonna blow, run! We're such a daredevil, so we even looted it before it went to go blow up. Ooh, there we go, we got raider pyro coming at us. Let's drop this guy. Oh, the, re the bats reload on this is not so good. Nice, got him. So we got an attack dog coming in as well. Two attack dogs. Drop those guys. Casually miss both rounds. Looks like McCready dropped him though, because he's a badass. Holy cow, reload. Oh, McCready getting a new weapon. Let's go ahead and crit this guy. Ooh. Oh my god. Pretty with the flamethrower. Hey. Well, okay. Find anything useful on him? Well, little raider encounter there. I'm hoping we'll run into some of the new mods out here. Well, we're all gonna be overweight because we got this raider power armor now. We're gonna be carrying around. That's kind of par for the course, though. Where's the other attack dog? Oh, dog we made a friend out of him. Oh, that's adorable. All right. Oh, that's a Rottweiler. That's so cute. Let's go ahead and see what eight items we have. A little bit of food uh, patches up here. Let's look at some sweet rolls down the hatch. And how about just a bunch of corn? That should do it. Okay, nice. And the other power armor <laughs> down high. We got some key of some kind, a whole set of T45D. And what is this? Oh, a new yes. hot rodder magazine. And this is what we got with the key. Okay, we've got Dawson's holotape and that report, the Sentinel Power Armor report. Ooh, another attack dog coming at us. That shouldn't be too hard. Since we're now on cover and not getting ambushed in the street. Man, those dudes over at the ration stockpile really just had to mess with us, apparently. Nothing to interact with here. Where's that raider body? Ooh, a quick draw, a grenade pistol. Nice. Go ahead and drop that chicken. I guess it got wounded in the previous fighting. Radio then. Let's go ahead and read that holotape. Well, we have the Sentinel report and then Dawson's holotape. Ooh, and his recall code. Sending data. 
Wow, so he's been sending data over to the Institute. Wow, so... Okay, his patrol members are questioning about it. Wow. So, looks like his idea is to... So, Dawson's plan was to... Uh... Oh, we had a short handmade bullpup in there. Let's go ahead and run with that one for now. If we have any ammo for it. We have eight rounds. Pretty cool bullpup design. Okay. More pieces. This is the immersive bullpup I was talking a couple episodes about. Well, so it looked like his plan was to, you know, he felt like he was compromised. It feels like from the notes we read from his teammates, they weren't even that nervous about him, so I think he kind of overreacted. He went ahead and, um, just murdered his teammates with the power armor to make it seem as if the AI went haywire and he could return to the Brotherhood without his cover being blown. Okay. And this is what we already read. Oh, here we go. So it looks like they even used these things alone. Mission objective. Patrol half a mile around the area. And there's one that needs to be manually shut down because it's acting rogue. Interesting. This place is a petrol station? That's interesting, because it should be a coolant station, right? Although there, there's probably a few vehicles that still use... Oh, that's so cool to think about. So, in the universe, we're used to all the cars being nuclear-powered, but it seems like some of the, um... Hey. Seems like some of the time, some of the older cars were still manually powered. Oh. oh my goodness. Okay, so that's it. We have the Sentinel Power Armor now. Oh, well, this is that stash there. Dude, it's got a gun on it. We finished the quest. So what can we do here? Access storage. I see. Very cool. So you can check out its pieces. Select personality matrix. Sentry bot. Mr. Gutsy. Did okay, cool. I like that. Let's go ahead and do an Assaultron. Looks like memory free might be just no no noise at all. Then enter standby mode just shuts it down. And escort Do mode I makes it follow like us. I have time for idle chit -chat? Yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, so it looks like this is a regular gas station. So not all the cars are nuclear powered. Oh, we got a full round of ammo now for our gun. So we'll use this till it runs out. Just to show you guys what the handmade bullpup looks like. I think it's pretty cool. Um, well, that looks like have that's fun it. With this junk. I have no idea looks like this thing's going to follow us on our adventure here. So that's all right. So we finished that. Very cool. Give me shelter. Let's go ahead and, I think Give Me Shelter might just be for a quest that we can do anyway. So let's go ahead and head down to the church west of Wide Park, all the way down here in the south. Right next to all these raiders. And, you know, we cleared this place out ourselves when we were venturing, but we just didn't follow up on the quest because I didn't realize, oh, we have a quest here. So now we can go ahead and investigate the church and see what's going on. I have no idea what this is for, what DLC this is for. It's possible that we're going to be able to make more robot, I don't know, control pieces or something and use them. Uh, so uh, maybe we can turn multiple power armor suits into our companions. I don't see myself traveling with a power armor companion that's a robot, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless. It, it's, at least it's the thing that you can take out of the wasteland, because it's obviously dangerous. And there was that rogue suit we mentioned that we might have to go shut down at some point as well. Okay. And we had a classic CTD uh, moment. So, uh, looks like we are going to see you guys in the next one because something in the mods is not working uh, quite as it should. So, I will see you guys in the next one. This is your host, Starshare Gaming, signing off.